city of dreams. Yep. All eyes are on the Albert Pentagon and Repa Shop, in summer mood. which is now in its fourth round. Ways of remaining competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery demise, the family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <clears throat> With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> and not to mention a pool party. <laughs> Miss Acheron. <laughs> Pool party. Didn't we all agree to the swimsuit dress code. No, that's not a swimsuit. Hmm. Is that what we agreed? Dad, but you. Albert, can I borrow oh, you? Oh, Jane. <laughs> What's my Jane. favorite Mata? Who so shares the same voice actress as Aqu the English voice for Aqua from Kunosuba? The corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Where's Firefly? It's all in the agreement. Where is Firefly? Thank you, Miss Jade. And thank you, RPC. Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. <laughs> oh, Albert. Uh, Miss Firefly. <laughs> hey, hey. Can you do the transformation thingy? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh my gosh, she's so the perfect time. Okay, it's just there's a lot of people around. Is she no gonna problem. say transform or if henshin? Anything goes wrong, just blame your good buddy Albert. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze. Okay, good enough. That, that's good enough. That's good enough. To me, well, hiding is much easier than being honest. Oh my gosh, Yet, she's so precious! I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? Oh, sparkle. I on this ship. You have ten minutes to find it. Better hurry. What the hell? Damn, the music going in ham! Raider Keys! Always remember, don't leave with any regrets. Wait. So now. Oh, we have Jade. Do you understand what you must give up, Miss Sam? Damn! Hoibus, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. Oh boy. There's no backing out now. For me, or for you. My script isn't over yet. It's been a while, little Yelena. I propose a toast. Since you care so much, speed up the countdown to the future of Kinnikoni and the universe. What's going to happen? Can I interpret this as the next phase of the simulated universe? Correction. Oh, it's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Okay. Oh my gosh, Firefly look, looks so good. Firefly looks so good in that pose, man. Holy crap. So apparently... <laughs> Sparkle is wreaking havoc and Firefly and the Astro Express is trying to stop her from the look of things. So this should be a very interesting uh, Trailblaze mission to say the least. Even though it's actually the epilogue of um, Panacomi Arc. I mean granted it's Illyris the title dropped itself, it's um, Panacone Art, uh, Farewell Panacone After All. So, I kinda look forward to the epilogue of Panacone Art to be with you guys. And since Schooler mentioned there will be a new Simulator in Universe, right? Um, I won't be surprised there will be a new world in Simulator Universe of some kind, so. Okay, shush. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day night cycle. 
Good morning, good afternoon, and, and good, good evening. evening. I'm Albert, your friendliest feathered announcer. Welcome to the version 2.3 Farewell Pentacony special program. Be sure to drop in For today's about program, so cool. we have with us a Galaxy Ranger as well as 12 this. Stellaron. 12 this. Not to mention a director of the Twelve Days Till Firefly is playable department. in Honkai Stadium. Jade! <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. Voice by me Faye Oh. So, what Akron exactly by is Allegra? this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I just showed everyone! Oh. Hi Trailblazers! Firefly here! Voice by the one and only Adalisa no, Fisher. No. Before we go any further, we agreed to a pool party. <laughs> How come I'm the only one that's not? Albert disappointed. Himself? He doesn't get to see a swimsuit. <laughs> oh, wait. We yes. thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously had pool party levels of funding. Don't worry, Albert. Madam Jade's investment is on the way. Next time for sure. Right. Anyway, take a look around, you guys. We're coming to you live from the skies above Pinnacone in none other than the Radiant Felt Spa Airship. Quite a luxurious setting. New area? What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion needed, Miss Acheron. I just wanted to give everyone a taste of Pinnacone's history. <laughs> Over to you, Madam Jade. One amber era ago. Yep. Odiel Falfa, New area. And, Falfa and I believe this will be the final area for a large sum in, in constructing the Radiant Feldspar airship. Aside from the opulent parlor, ballroom, and recreation facilities, one could simply relax at the poolside with Bro. a few glasses of soul glad. Kind of reminds me of this grand Titanic. airship sailed above Penacony's Sea of Dreams. Yeah, it, it literally screams Amber Era. Titanic. Suspending services only recently, in the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you weren't aware, the Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Only the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking aerial views of Pinnacone. And see, we mean to say that after three whole versions, the Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Trailblazers' recent battle against the Order caused great disturbance at Pinnacone. Mm -hmm. Correct. The and we still have no idea what really happened to, to Sunday. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. There are many Aww, delicate issues which so urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses to important family discussions. Okay. But if the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? The, mm, the order has stepped all over the Harmony Surf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. Okay. A pity none of this razzle dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, a venturing may have been digging up dirt on the family in Dreamflux Reef. I'll need to take care of a few things during my visit to Penacony. Huh? Is the IPC about to make a claim on Penacony? Never say never with the gosh dang IPC. Oh, for the Amber Lord, baby. <laughs> Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Panacone. They do. But a quick refresher. Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panacone? Sparkle. I remember. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Yeah. Surely she... 
She's planning something pushing the button really caused Penaconi to explode. that no good Jezebel. I have my doubts. Only one way to find out. Whoa! Everyone take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> you guys have been spending too much time with a certain blonde-haired director. I'm not putting the bill if you blow up the radiant bell spa! Blonde-haired director? <gasps> Let's leave these mysteries for the trailers to explore again. Huh? It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might the honor guest be, I hear you ask? <sighs> Just when they're about to get interesting, Albert hands things over to the trailblazers again. Family business is family business, and we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Oh, Firefly. Oh my gosh. She's fixing her own hair. And at the same time, she's a freaking Kamen Rider. Damn, that's badass. Firefly is a member of the Stellaron Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth? The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic set? I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes! Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. No. After the swarm invaded, oh. everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes. Oh. And bade farewell to many. <laughs> what stood out to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sams. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Good thinking, Madam possible? J. Perhaps the answer to that question lies in Firefly's myriad Celestia and animated short. <laughs> <laughs> she has her own myriad Celestia and animated I was short? wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm-hmm. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Okay. Let me guess. Silverwolf came up with the lines, Blade came up with the movements, and Kafka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. Right. I'm a fire type character following the path of destruction. Mm -hmm. When using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Sam can what? leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. What? Quite the heroic entry. After using technique to win a Indeed. battle for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. In battle, Sam has two forms. In the mm -hmm. initial form, using skill consumes HP, while simultaneously yeah, regenerating ultimate energy. Oh. The lower the HP, the less damage sustained. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are all stellar on the HP for more energy? Okay. <laughs> when using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. Ooh, okay. When using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. Oh, so, okay. The complete combustion state allows us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech. That's a determined gaze if I ever saw one. Damn. Enough to set the seas ablaze, I'll wager. That's so awesome. <laughs> I want to set the seas ablaze. <laughs> Thanks. The complete combustion state's enhanced skill not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. Okay. The flames that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. 
And is that a countdown oh. icon on the action bar? Oh, yeah, I see it, I see it. That's right. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. Okay. It seems like the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make Which most means she sense can match with, Firefly um, to team up with allies. Michael Jackson weakness break and Ron May. Buffs, or even super break? Mm-hmm. That's right. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. Oh, AKA mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. <laughs> What a wonderful coincidence! In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> yeah, we all know that. <sighs> the spirit of Trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, Trailblazers can obtain a Shadow of Harmony through the When Charmony Rings Out event screen, thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's Eidolon level. And yeah, I was wondering how do we get our hands? How to upgrade the um, Don't worry. Michael Jackson's um, Eidolon? Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the Path of Harmony early through the when Charmity rings out the vent screen. Oh, <laughs> Aww, look I at Firefly's the eyes. The trailblaze reaches so everyone on this journey. Well said. Now, without further ado, it's time we got to know a certain highly respected IPC director a little Jade. better. Enter Madam J. Damn, Alex. Sorry. Oh boy. Oh boy, damn. Damn, girl. People sitting for Jade be like, step IPC on me, mommy. Strategic investment department. And I can literally see so those nice. people She's wanting to pull for Jade be like, step on me, mommy. The upcoming Radiant Fell discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her And she literally skills. screams. In contrast with Topaz's negotiations, that she's a sadist. An adventurine's daredevil spirit. I mean, look at over here, man. Prefer to operate the one guy who <laughs> trying to hold on to hold on to Jade. <laughs> harvest when the opportunity arises. She if literally screams that she's a sadist. To go with Jade is a risky proposition. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap, no matter how hard you struggle. I think the term you're looking for no, is Albert. femme fatale. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm. And Jade also has a hobby by the name of Bonna Jade Exchange. A pawn shop, Bonna Jade Exchange. essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience with you on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is eight billion credits out of pocket. <laughs> Watch your step, Trailblazers. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, wetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of desire, then bounces where they're most valuable, leaving nothing but an empty shell of despair. Oh. Why is everyone staring at me? Albert, didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program budget? Uh oh. Wait, what? Uh, hold on a second. Oh. Uh, so, what exactly happens to people? Albert's who soul sign as ascend to the heavens. Patience, patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? As a quantum type character following the path of erudition, oh, my basic erudition. attack deals blast damage to a single enemy okay. and adjacent targets. All right. A blast damage dealing basic attack? Exactly Long story short, that. she's AOE my skill, damage dealer. On the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. Okay. When the Saini attacks the enemy, they can deal additional damage. But 
at the expense of consuming their own HP. Oh. Enhancement in exchange for HP. Damn. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? <laughs> Let me have a look. Now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. Okay. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. Okay. When charges are full, a follow-up attack is launched. Okay. The IPCs sure enjoy a follow-up attack. Hmm. It seems that the Strategic yeah. Investment Department has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to mete out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. If there's a place that's closest to Follow a dream, up a deck. then are the punish destined for the place that's furthest from it? Then that like one artifact, she's, she's best slot in that, uh, to use that you one artifact that, we, might be one that is based same. on follow up attack. When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and okay. will refrain from attacking me. Huh. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle with all enemies sustaining damage. Okay. Just a single sheet of paper. Interesting. Signing away control Very of the right to others interesting. is all too easy. <sighs> Poor Owlbert. And Albert is still he dead. Might be doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Yikes. Wakey wakey. I don't wakey wakey. Kindly to procrastination <laughs> during working hours. <laughs> How are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. Youch. But then. Neither will your program. Super On the bright side. <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? Oh, I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? Okay. Ooh, I'm definitely idea. playing for Firefly for sure. Version 2.3's first half. Oh my god! Hope <laughs> guys, time well you evil bastards! <laughs> this is evil! In addition. That was evil. You're putting Firefly and Runme together. <laughs> That's real well evil. But genius at the same time. Will be <sighs> I see why you did that. She must yearn for the world beyond the cold. Two characters that um, Faint heavily emphasizes on weakness break. Or should I say break effect? Meanwhile, oh. in 2.3's second half will prevent Jade and Argentine. Trailblazers can acquire the limited I just realized. character Jade and our resident Knight. The rerun characters are from 1.6. We'll also be joining the lineup. Yeah, run me from 1.6. The drop rates for the limited Argentine also from 1.6. Hope is priceless as so well. So does as the that mean in 2.4 we'll be getting a rerun for characters from 2.0? <laughs> So, even the fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Who isn't mm. moved by the laughter of children? Interesting. My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And finally, the brand new four star light cone after the Charmony Fall will also be joining us. After the, the Charmony Fall. I wonder where Mr. Sunday is right now. <sighs> I think we all need a glass. My thoughts exactly. Or should I say, everyone's thoughts exactly. After the break, we'll be talking 2.3 events. Right. Okay, so I will definitely will be playing for Firefly for sure. But damn, I did not expect them to put Firefly and Ron May on the same uh, on the at the same time. That is pure evil because both Firefly and Ruan Mei, like I said, both of these two characters, they specialize on weakness break. Granted, if, even if you are unable to pull for Ruan Mei, you can still use Michael Jackson. So, still, still, I what, once again, I'm definitely fooling for Firefly without a shower without, but. I'm kind of curious whether she pairs well better with Michael Jackson or Ruan Mei. 
going to definitely do some test runs once for version 2.3 drops. Welcome back, dear viewers. Let's duck right into version 2.3's brand new events. First up, a significant update to the simulated universe. Yeah, so exciting. Did Mr. Screwlum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it. Led by Mr. Screwlum, Divergent Universe, the human comedy, is a brand new project path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus? Bingo! That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Minga okay. number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First up, a groundbreaking update to the Divergent Shora. Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, trailblazers can so switch between characters they already possess. This looks like a permanent event. Huh. So they can create their own lineups? Okay. Precisely. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Damn. You mean, if one of my characters is level one, but I use them in the Divergent Universe, it increases to a set level? Wow. So handy. That's huge. But... What if a character has the level, but no suitable relics or light cones? <laughs> We're Good in question. Not. In that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. I like when things are automatic. Ain't it great? <laughs> now we must you, overlook new relics, by the way. new brainwave. I saw a new relics. I see new relics. A combination of two different paths. Before the start of every test, trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Once the required amount has been achieved, mm -hmm. the equation will activate and the team can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. So the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it? You nailed it! And to speed things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Nice. Knowing which blessing can activate an equation is easy as pie. That's so considerate! If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark! Adapting well, your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, it works both ways. You could adjust your team's composition to better suit your current equation. I want to see Trailblazers mixing and matching. Wow. So if I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing, or if I want to switch my current equation, can I make a change? Of course. By visiting Ooh. the workbench of creation, Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for other blessings, well, that's or neat. even enhanced. Huh? Has the Curio Store added more purchasable items? Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame oh, Herta the really dream. lower the prices? The Curio system has been upgraded. In addition to normal curios, mm -hmm. trailblazers can also choose from weighted curios. Whoa. These curios are more suited to characters of specific paths or types and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, trailblazers. Separately, Definitely gonna check this you should also shout take a look at the wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Okay. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your cosmic fragments could be wasted Ooh. or even land you with negative curios. Ooh. Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very different outcomes. Luck is an important component. It sure is. Now, allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. Okay. When suffering defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent Universe Combat now allows for restart challenge, and Trailblazers can select a new lineup. Oh, I've always 
always wanted that function. Aww. After completing each test in the Divergent Universe, Trowbridges can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated universe just got a little bit easier. Thanks for all the info, Albert. It's just... Didn't you forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every Ooh. time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornaments you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Huh? Interesting. You mean, you can skip ahead? You just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Are Holy we sh sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silverwolf put out there? Shh, keep her down! The last person <coughs> to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts! A Yikes. brand new simulated universe. <laughs> Sounds worth a try. Amen to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3, the yep. Divergent Universe will be adding two new planar ornaments. Durand, and five Dynasty of Running Wolves and five five will be using the Forge of the Carpagni Lantern, sure if I'm not mistaken. New planar ornament extraction function Based on the information that I have um, on After social media. After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the Divergent Universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, Madam Herder has added the five-star erudition light cone Eternal Calculus oh. to the store. Trailblazers who wish cone. to redeem it, better start reserving some Herder bonds. Light cone. Okay, okay. It sounds like the level of freedom in the Divergent Universe is really high. Faster access to planar ornaments, full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. Big improvements indeed. In the vastness of the universe, the eons are beyond our reach. Humanity must learn to rise from its falls and strike its own path. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. I can't wait to experience those stories! It's a chance for us to find out more about ourselves. I look forward to the memories. <laughs> Any room for a non-human companion? <laughs> um. Aside from all of this, in Pentacone's Dreamscape Wait. Sales Store, another woman game with a member of the mysterious Creed Exequi. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince in the experiences of your deadly struggles. Okay. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow, in Dream Flux Reap, and experience those past dreamscapes. Okay. Creed Exequi. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the Finality? Not necessarily. A new permanent challenge mode? So what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which are okay. split into four levels of challenge difficulty. Whoa. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. Okay. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Okay. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right! And after the first time clearance of Apocalyptic Shadow's ah. set difficulty, Trailblazers can obtain the four-star character Shui Yi as well as 300 stellar jades well, and self-modeling resin. <laughs> nice! Neat. 
We're just getting warmed up. Oh. Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. All right. The first because phase of the apocalyptic the shadow um, challenge will launch game on mode, the day of the version 2.3 update and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to the following sequence: apocalyptic shadow, pure fiction, forgotten hall, just as before. Well, that's kind of neat. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related system functions have also been optimized. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. On the permanent game mode well, preparation that's kind of screen, neat. Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team, and even customize with drag and drop. How wow! Mm-hmm. Now let's talk rewards, shall we? By clearing a phase of Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers can earn a maximum of 720 Stellar Jades. Holy moly. 720? <laughs> you so might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. What? Huh? <laughs> the maximum number of Stellar Jades awarded in each phase 800? of the Forgotten Hall. Pure fiction and apocalyptic shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. Then the budgetary increase will be funded through Galbert's salary? You. <laughs> <sighs> it's like I said, making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. <laughs> well then, Firefly with a cute Trailblazers can now obtain a total of 2,400 stellar days with permanent challenges in each version. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> I don't think Owlbird's seeing the bright side. <laughs> Keep it together, Albert. Now. Emotional damage. The upcoming version, the Origami Birds. Origami Birds. To the okay. Radiant Felt Spa. Bring with them a little game. Here's hoping Trailblazers can help to test it out. An arcade game? Huh? Let me give Silverwolf a call. Lord. These Origami Birds are very endearing. But why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game. <clears throat> Trailblazers need to cause elimination within a specified number of steps. Do you see some old school game, man? Power. Before the end of every turn, corresponding damage this is some old school game, man. In combat values, when you're and as a matter of fact, right, you see this kind of like game in victory. I've seen people sealed. playing this kind of game in this gameplay. Mo Could it really be the legendary? I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. <laughs> In the Origami Bird class event, Trailblazers can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Oh, wow. Can we fight Silverwolf? Of course. Be they old buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. Get wow. Mm -hmm. Great. The next event is called Stellar Shimmer. Does that name ring okay. any bells for anyone? Stellar Sheeple. Stellar. Stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? You're a sharp one, Miss Zacharon. Stellar Flare. Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms is the oh, key to victory. This one. Okay. These mechanisms. Care to divulge a little more? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability? They're really trying their best to showcase Firefly as much as possible. If you guys haven't noticed, defeat as many ways. They're really trying their best to showcase Firefly as much as possible. Obtain reward. Whew. That's it for events. Time to take another breather. Don't go anywhere. More fascinating updates on version 2.3 are right around the corner. Not that I don't mind, but quite 
a number of people are really hyping up for Firefly as a matter of fact. Ever since the events in version 2.0. And I and yes, uh, there are people in social media that really they are really saving up for Firefly. So myself included, as a matter of fact. So I would definitely will be pulling for Firefly without shower now. But I, do, but yes, I did notice that a lot of footages that were shown in this special program, they were trying their best to showcase Firefly as much as possible, man. And very little. <laughs> um, Jet gameplay, but like, what the heck? So yeah, apparently we will be making a new um, simulated universe and a better one, as a matter of fact. So I will definitely be checking out that uh, mod without um, sometime in the Welcome future. back, viewers. First up, it's the return Aww, of the nail biting and like thrilling clapping. tradition. Gift, Gift of Odyssey. Odyssey. Of course. Again for ten free words. Of Please. course. There's also version 2.3's double events. Our good friends, Planar Fisher and Realm of the Strange. Double Why am I not surprised? Materials? What's not to love? Also in this version are the newly added cavalry. Ah, relics, I was about to say, cavalry, where are the, the new stir, relics, and buddy? The wind soaring Valorous. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier Challenge. Break to effect. Obtain them. Attack. Mm -hmm. I, I believe the and other one is for the new Chile, I trace materials that'll be added to the brand new calyxes. The first one's for Firefly with that shadow. I believe the second one is for Colored Draft. For trailblazers who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Okay, this is that's for Jade. So what about for Firefly Man, though? I can't wait for this version to drop. <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special program. Oh. And it's about time we bade farewell to this white night. Thanks again for everyone's support and viewership. I eagerly await the version 2.3 story. Here's hoping the Pentaconi discussions make for smooth sailing. Please, Trailblazers, do support the work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. Don't forget to try them out. Um, in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> that one usual spot. Okay. And I don't think that's the end, right? What the heck is written in this thing anyway? That's it. That's it. I made it. What am I? A god? Talk to them. Virgin names. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, and not to mention the bullying. All these years, working my tail feathers off for the RPC, and even the audience thinks I'm an intern. <laughs> and now, they're using my salary to fund the stellar change budget for the new events. The audacity! <laughs> you two, get out of here! <laughs> so G and Teacup, so did he tell? Tell that to Sunday! Now listen up! The three years are up! I quit! If you didn't know already, I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. Ha 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 ha! You can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. Well, actually, what? the warden's offer and the seven days of playtime offer I mentioned, they're I, the same thing. You. Huh? Huh? And now, but soul. Uh, well, he just passed out. What do you do now? It's fine. He's passed out. Anyway, die right to roll the day. <laughs> Ladies Wait, and now, okay, we're not done, done yet. Welcome to the most important event in the Zienjo calendar. Okay. The war dance. The opening session is right around the corner. 
2.4. You will witness members from all Sienjo delegations vying for supremacy in the Luminary Combat Arts Ceremony. Okay. First up, put your hands together for the Sienjo Yao Ching delegation. Yao Ching. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's Wait. Claw. And by his side, Fei Xiao. <laughs> he doesn't drink plain soup. And has no time for coin. Jiao Chu. It's the celebrated medicinal chef, Jiao Chu. What the heck did I just read? Up next, he's cold and silent as a hunting shadow. Moza. Feathered weirdo. Moza. Moza. And following close behind him is the Xianzhou Juming delegation. Juming. De Strong and righteous is Huayan. Whoa, the whoa, 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 whoa. Heart. What is going on? And now. What is going on? The iron is hot and forges while the flames Yun Li. are bright. It's one of the flame will octet. Yun Li! Oh, these are some wordy intros. And finally, the official host delegation has arrived. Let's Which hear it for the Xian Zhou Lao Lo Fu. Fu. Please welcome, having suddenly returned home for the Lin is the new Alchemy Commission new Alchemy Cauldron Commission's Master, Cauldron Master, Ling Sha, as well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary, legendary new Swiss Master, Master, who shall remain anonymous for the time being. No wonder they needed me for this gig. Stay in tune for the upcoming Summer Game Fest at 2024, June 7. Yeah, because, um... Uh, Honkai Star Rail will be there will some, there'll be more information on um, Honkai Star Rail at Summer Game Fest, which is in about a few hours' time. So I will definitely check that out without a shadow or now, along with a few other games. And I believe Zenith Zone Zero will be at Summer Game Fest as well. So I will definitely will be reacting to the entire presentation of um, Summer Games Fest, which will drop in about a few a few hours' time. So. We'll see how it is. And from the look of things, it is very high likely version 2. Point, from version 2.4 onwards to version 2.6, we will be going back to the Zenjo War 4. I mean, hold on a second. I'll be real, I didn't expect them to reveal more, uh, what, what will they offer from 2.4 onwards. So let's start from here. Uh, let me go for Yao Qing. So, we have Fei Xiao, Jiao Chu, Mose, that's three characters. And then from the zooming section, we have uh, Huai Yan, that's four. Yun Li, five. Okay, that's five, that's five characters so far. And then from the Xianzhou, uh, from the Luofu. Fu. We have Lin Sha, that's the, the sixth character, and ex exceptionally gifted legendary new source master, but no name revealed. Huh. So there's a total of seven characters so far. Interesting. It looks like for starting from 2.4 onwards, we will be jumping right back into the Sensual Lawful arc. And hopefully, we'll be getting some answers on what really happened to Ching Bin. A lot of people saying Ching Bin is dead, but I don't believe that's the case. I won't believe I, until we really see Ching Bin's corpse or something like that. Kind of look forward to um, the set, to the follow up of Zian Shou Law Fu arc. In the meantime, I will definitely will be, I will continue saving up for Firefly before her imminent arrival in 12 days time until then thank you guys for watching my reaction to the special program for Honkai Star Wars version 2.3 farewell Panacone anyway have a good one thank you thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one peace